Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2014 Women's College World Series. With us from Oregon, we have head coach Mike White, uh, Sheridan Hawkins, Coral Costa, and Alexa Peterson. Uh, we will begin with an opening statement from Coach White. Great. Uh, well, it certainly feels better to be one step ahead than we were last time. Uh, come up, opened up with a W against a very good team from Florida State. Um, obviously, with the, with the pitcher of the year and one of the candidates for player of the year, they're a tough opposition. Uh, but I can't say enough about what Sheridan Hawkins did out there today and uh, did a fantastic job for us. Uh, our offense started early, um, put the pressure on, and came through with some big hits, especially uh, the lower half of the order. They really came through for us today. I uh, hope we can use that for momentum against a tough Florida team uh, coming up on uh, Friday. Um, I'd like to thank Florida State, uh, good friends with Lonnie. And uh, I know it's tough, uh, but they're back in the series. It doesn't always happen straight away, but I'm sure they'll continue to get a lot better and they have a lot of depth that I know of on their, on their bench. So uh, congratulations to them on their season so far. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, just a reminder to raise your hand and wait for the microphone and state your name and affiliation. We'll open the floor for questions. Um, Mike Bone with the Oklahoma, and I want to both of you to address this. You guys are really known for your offense, but you got an All-American pitcher yourself. One here, first game here. Just talk about the impact because the circle's so big that you got a great offense to rely on, but it, her, her role in this whole thing. Well, we were just trying to hide that, but obviously we can't hide that now. I mean, uh, you know, she was a little under uh, Jessica Moore's wing last year, obviously with an All-American uh, ahead of her, and this year she stepped up huge. Um, when we went back to our very first game of the season, uh, it didn't look that way <laughs> to start off, but uh, she's showing great composure, worked very hard. Uh, there's not a kid on our team that uh, doesn't want it any more than Sheridan. Uh, she loves to have the weight on her, on her shoulders and carries it extremely well. So we're very fortunate to have her to take over for Jess Moore. And just your role. I mean, they score runs all the time. I know. The, the offense, I think, is offense and defense, you know, always pick me up continuously. And, you know, when I get the opportunity to help out and, you know, do my part, it's what I like to do. And I think that they worked really hard and jumped, um, jumped out and scored some runs, which was really nice. And it's always, it's always nice to have good offense. And I think that the defense also helps me become, be a better pitcher because they make a lot of plays for me. Yeah, Sheridan, um, Mike came out and gave you what looked like a pretty one-sided pep talk next to last batter when you let off with a ball. Could you share what, what that was about? It was, it was just go at him, you know, don't, don't hold anything back and quit uh, kind of playing reserve. So it was just attack the zone and keep working. That's a very tactful answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, this, my name is Greg Eklund, this is for the Oregonian. Uh, Sheridan, was there a little nervousness in the first inning? You had a couple of mountain visits in the first. Yeah, I was definitely just a little bit nervous and excited, and so I was experiencing some of those emotions. But yeah, I think after the first inning, I settled down a little bit, but I definitely was nervous. She also was getting perspiration on her hand. Uh, it's a little warmer than Oregon, just a little. So, uh, you know, we had to take care of that. Once she got that rosin bag going with the perspiration, she was fine. She just dialed it right up. All right, um, Colin Deaver from KSWO in Lawton. Alexa, uh, you know, last last time you guys here was your, your first time here. What were the emotions like for you uh, coming back, getting the chance to play, and what kind of role did you play? I guess getting the other girls to ready to play today. Yeah, well, I know the returners. We've been, you know, just counting down the days to get here. Um, we've been preparing. The seniors and I have been preparing to get back to the World Series and win it since our freshman year. The day that we walked in, we said we wanted to come out of here with a national championship. And we were able to make it there uh, our sophomore year. Um, but I think that we've used like our, our experience then to really just get the other girls motivated and let them know like how awesome it is to be here and what a blessing it is to come and play in front of this many people um, and represent our great university.
I want both of you to address this. I mean, an offense to where the top six in the order are batting 355 or better against back 10 competition, what's it like to be in a lineup that if I don't have a good at back, I know the person behind me. And though, I mean, a lot of people rely on two or three hitters. You guys just up and down. Talk about being in an offense like that, a different story every day. Um, I think it's – I think we have each other's back. I think that's what it all boils down to. And, you know, if you're not having a good ta a day, then you look to the person to your right and left – or in the front of the lineup and behind you in the lineup, and you know they'll get it done. Because so. you had 11 hits today off an All-American. Right. We don't, we don't address that, really. We know she's good, and, you know, we just stick with our plans. I also think that's a testimony to how hard our coaches work. They do tons of scouting. Um, they know what the pitchers are throwing, their strengths, their weaknesses, and they prepare us well throughout the week. And um, yesterday when we had practice, and they just do the best that they can prepare us uh, hitting-wise. So, Anything else? Mike, what does it mean that you guys have, have played Florida already? Just kind of having that experience from that game earlier in the year. Yeah, we've uh, we actually played them. I think maybe two or three of the last four years, um, and uh, you know they're an excellent team. They always come out prepared. They're well coached. Um, uh, it, La Ro uh, Rocha is an excellent pitching coach. Uh, she was back there scouting today, so they'll know all about us. We know a lot about them. It's just a matter of who comes out and uh, executes. Really, um, you know, obviously we're going to throw Sheridan up there against them. Uh, they'll probably throw um, Hannah Rogers, which we've had difficulty against. Um, hopefully, we can make the adjustments. I think we're seeing the ball pretty well right now. Um, you know, we we uh, we all drop throw some strikes. We we left off we laid off the marginal pitches and made her come in with the strike zone. In and in some respects, <coughs> Hannah Rogers is exactly the same way. We have to make her come into the strike zone because if you don't, she's so good that she's going to eat you up. Murray Evans from the Oklahoma and Coach, this is for you. Uh, earlier this morning, they announced this tournament's going to be back here essentially until 2035. And just kind of get your reaction to that. Well, I think it's tremendous. I mean, I think having it in a smaller city, I mean, it's not that Oklahoma City is small, but if you're going to have it in Chicago, it'd probably get lost. And so having its own identity here in Oklahoma City, I think it's tremendous with the commitment that Oklahoma City has put into it with, uh, with funds and money and USA Softball, ASA Softball, and now the NFCA getting together. I think it's great to see some of these softball powers and cities come together to promote the game and get it bigger because right now this game is as good as there is out there. It's got all the elements that people love to watch on TV, speed, they've got pitching, you've got power, um, you've got a lot of uh, the cat and mouse games going on, there's a lot of stories to be had and uh, this is just a tremendous sport and I'm glad we're, we're getting a, a, just a tremendous facility to be able to uh, showcase this sport. Mike, your players did a good job of laying off the off-speed pitches. Uh, she put some in there at 35 and 36 miles an hour, and your girls didn't bite. Did you practice particularly to face an off-speed pitcher? Well, I can't throw the ball at 34 mile an hour, so that was a problem for me. <laughs> but uh, um, we were trying to sit on the middle speed uh, and then you know, react to that. Um, you know, she's one of those pitches you just can't go up there and guess. And we said that before. We, we cannot guess. We have to see the ball. We have to see the spin. We have to react. And uh, like I said, I thought we did a really good job in the first two, three innings of doing that. We got away from it in the middle. We started to overswing. Because you're not going to hit home runs off wall drop. I mean, she just keeps the ball down. She's off speed. You have to be content with just base hits. And uh, we did that. And, and when we did that, we were successful. Um, so I, I thought the, the ladies did a great job in following the game, following our game plan. Mike, I, by taking uh, in the early going, uh, your your runners were taking two bases uh, and uh, forcing their defense to make some throws. Uh, is that the the characteristic of your style of offense when you get runners on base? Very much so. If, if I see something I think could be a weakness or an ability for us to push the envelope, I'm going to do it. Um, you know, you could see that with the stolen bases. You could see that with, uh, you know, close plays from home plate. Um, you know, I, I've seen, watched enough tape to know uh, where I could push the envelope just a little bit. Uh, and we have speed. We have good base running. It's something we really work hard on is taking the little things and making them uh, work to our advantage. So, uh, again, it was just a, a team is really starting to buy into those types of little things. And they believe there's no big things. They're all big things. You know, there's little things are big things. And they make a big difference, uh, obviously, with good base running today. Anything else? All right, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Looking for a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? 
SoftballJunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount on all regular price bats on the website. That's right, $30 discount. Just text the word fast bitch to 555-888 and Garrett will send you a discount code good for $30 off your next softball bat at SoftballJunk.com. FYI, that code's also good at the Arlington, Texas store. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.